If you have been wearing a cast on your leg, your foot and ankle will be quite stiff and the skin will be dry when the cast is removed. Whilst your movement and strength will improve during the months following removal, it will take time to get back to normal and in the meantime you may feel some discomfort. You can accelerate your recovery by following these top tips. Soothe your skin. Wash your skin with soap and water and moisturise well on a daily basis. Manage any swelling. If you have been provided with a tubey grip, this should be worn during the day and removed at night or when you take a shower or bath. Once your swelling has decreased and your movement has improved, you can stop wearing it. However, if your swelling continues during the day, try resting your leg on a stool. Use your walking aids. Your physiotherapist will advise you if you need a stick or a crutch and how much weight you can put on your injured leg. If you're using a single stick or crutch, make sure you use it in the hand opposite to your injured leg. Go for a walk. Walking will help your recovery, so make sure you take regular walks as recommended by your physiotherapist. Do your foot exercises. These exercises should be done 10 to 15 times each time and at least three or four times a day. Firstly, pull your foot up towards you and then point your toes down. If you find this easy, make it a little harder by placing a strap under the ball of your foot and pulling it gently towards you. Turn your foot inwards and outwards whilst keeping your knee still. Circle your foot around and then do the same thing in the opposite direction. With your foot flat on the floor, Draw your toes gently towards your heel to lift the inside arch of your foot. Lastly, stand holding onto a worktop or table. Put your weight on your injured leg and try to balance on that leg. As you get stronger, you should be able to let go of the table and increase the length of time you hold this position. Eventually, you should be able to hold this position for up to one minute. Remember, these exercises should be done 10 to 15 times each time and at least three or four times a day. Exercises should be completed as any pain allows. The joint may be painful due to stiffness, but if pain persists, then please contact the Fracture Clinic for advice.